Yeah. Alright, let's. We can get the laptop out, you know. I know. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, we're going to look at your profiles now. It's my favourite bit, you see. I noticed some people have left during the interval because they don't want to see their profiles live on stage, live on screen. So, Ashasna, where are you? She's hiding. Where are you? Hiding over there. Oh, sorry, over there. Yes. So, as you can see, what's wrong with this profile? No background picture and the keywords, you know, Asia business management, what does that mean? Okay, so you, but you need to describe it a bit more. Um, and you've got, uh, you've, at least you've got a bit of a summary set, but it needs to be a bit more, it needs to be expanding a bit more, you need to be looking at that this is a, you know, this is a long-term investment in your, in your future. This isn't just a short-term hit, this is a long-term investment. You've got to think about, this job, and the next job, and the next job, and your career. So think about the background picture, think about the summary and adding some media in, for example. And then, if you look at your the activity, for example, there's not that much activity, so it's about sharing activity, for example. Not just about NUS, but about other things as well. So really put your thoughts out there. Uh, and then you're at Dream, you were at Dream Technologies? Okay. So it's adding, for example, links in from the video, from the website. So just amplifying it a bit more, illustrating it, <coughs> and then, this is what most people do, they say, responsible for devising strategy for expansion of business in the ASEAN region. That doesn't say what the company does. That says what you did, but you need to combine the two. So if I go there and I go, I have no idea what Dream Technology does. So if I think about employing you, I'm looking at this going, well, why are you a match for my company if you haven't told me what Dream, do Dream does? Okay, so you need to say, yeah, by all means, I'm responsible for devising the strategy, and this is what Dream does. Copy and paste it to the company page or the website. Put on there what Dream actually does. Obviously, I know what Oracle does, but I don't know what Dream does, for example. Aditi. <laughs> <laughs> so, a similar thing, although I quite like this. You've got MBA candidate NUS, management consulting, Deloitte, so you have got some keywords there. You have those things, but obviously, you don't have background picture. Um, and you've written in the third person. We would all advise you to write in the first person. Because it's a bit like this. If you started talking to your neighbor in the third person, she'd move away from you very quickly. Chris did this, and Chris did that, and Chris was over there. there. <laughs> don't do that. First person, because it's personal. It's me and me, me and you, me and you. So don't say things like she. She has an extensive, like, you talk about yourself. You know, she did this, and she did that. Um, and then put some media here as well. So you put some media down. Um, and then you've got the Deloitte stuff down here. But what you've noticed here is that you don't actually talk about what you did. And you also don't have any links. So just Millie says, you did that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then that. It's like. But what did you do at Deloitte? What's the difference between a consultant and a senior consultant at Deloitte? I don't know. And what's the difference between a consultant in India and a consultant in Chicago? I don't know. Because you haven't told me. So you have to basically, if you think about your long-term career aspirations, put this on here now, and then it stays there until your next job, and the next job, and the next job. You know, help people understand what you've done. And put links in as well. Put links in from the, uh, from the Deloitte website, or YouTube channel, or events you went to, for example, when you were at Deloitte. Alexander! Where's that? Oh, there you are. So it looks just like you. Nice shiny picture there. Uh, but obviously what you don't have, you've got the MBA student, fantastic. But you haven't really got where you're positioning yourself. Where, what kind of job do you want to get into? What kind of job do you want to get into? VC, okay? So you need to put, you put it on here, why you want to get into VC, or you're looking to get an opportunity in VC. And then have a background picture that actually says that. Maybe a picture of you know Singapore startups or Singapore VC week, or, <coughs> and then put a summary section here, talking about you know what you want to do, why you want to go into VC, what's your story, what are your credentials, you know what have you learned here that's good for that, because um, all you've got here, which is brilliant, this is good. So copy him there, in that he's got it in his experience, but he doesn't say what he's done here. So you have to basically fill this out and put a link into the NUS website, the NUS business website as well, um, and then you've got. Um, Source and Blast team manager. Oh, source and Blast. Curry. Curry. Okay. Uh, you still do that in the UK? No. Oh, okay. It says present. <laughs> so you're doing a great job of both studying in Singapore and working at a curry place in Lancashire. <laughs> How are you doing that? It's amazing. That's a great story to tell on LinkedIn. You're a hologram or something. It doesn't exist, do you? It's like, so I put that in, I put some content here, you know, about the website and what you did there, for example, and tell a story about what you did it. None of this is screaming out VC. 
none of this is screaming VC to me. So you need to tell a story in your summary section why you're interested in being a VC, for example. Um, Alvin. <coughs> Where's Alvin? Are you hiding under that desk? Can you just check under that desk? <laughs> Not there. So as you can see, Alvin, uh, vast experience in the banking industry. And that's it. Um, and he doesn't really say what he's doing. Um, he's got MBA uh, consultant there, which is great. Uh, Ashish, that's you, faceless, <laughs> faceless. Where's your picture? Where's your picture? Yes, but you twit. You, what you've done is you've set the settings so that only first connections can see it. So unless you want a job from your first connections, I suggest you tweak that back so that second connections like I can actually see it. Because uh, if you basically apply and they can't see your picture, they'll delete you straight away from your list. You've got to have a picture. People want to see people, because obviously uh, you have no background picture, you have no summary section, you're basically invisible on LinkedIn. So it doesn't really help your career. And again, you look at, you look at this from like a long-term perspective. This is investment in your long-term. Put a summary section in there you can use for this job, the next job, the next job. And then build on it. Uh, you've got this down here, it's great. You'll notice that uh, NUS has two LinkedIn pages. So you can actually use both. NUS Business School and NUS. So you see people have used both. There's no harm using both. You can tap into the alumni of both, you can use it both. And again, you've got to be looking at this from a long-term perspective. You've got to, you put this on here, it'll stay on there, so the next candidates coming through for NUS can also then see you studied at NUS. So put that on there. Obviously what's missing here, a description about what you're doing here, links to the website, and then you have no content either. So there's a missing content. There's no content in terms of what you're sharing, in terms of blogs, and uh, even just you know, sharing things about NUS, for example. Ashman. Is he here? Is he hiding? Not here, okay. Uh, he has a massive, yeah, precisely, yeah. Ooh, that's like Lord of the Rings kind of experience levels. This is like, yes, it goes on forever and ever and ever. So that's basically what he's done there is he's written about exactly what he's done, but he hasn't really talked about what they do. So you basically need to mix it, but it's actually very good in terms of, it gives you lots of information, probably too much. And then there's basically no, no video and no experience. And also he hasn't, uh, there doesn't seem to be a company page there, for example. So he could basically mix it up a bit. <laughs> so, um, I was got, you have a picture, which is great, because the guy behind you doesn't have a picture. <laughs> and you do have an MBA candidate, fantastic. Uh, Dairy Technical Specialist, Asia Pacific. And you've got this um, kind of experience here. You're also a super dad. Oh, an aspiring super dad. <laughs> Does that mean you don't have kids yet, or you do have kids? Uh, they have kids, oh, okay. It could be read the other way. You're an aspiring candidate, a super dad. <laughs> Was there any candidates out there who could help you be a super dad? <laughs> I like that, it's good. I like the way you do that. You have pissed in the head as well, which is brilliant. It's like, that's a bit of personal stuff, it's great. But then it's a bit more, not just your corporate stuff, it's business as well. So obviously you could do the background picture, and you could have some media here. You know, you being a piston head, and you, you know, being a dairy technical analyst. What does a dairy technical analyst do? Uh, I, I'm a consultant. Ah, cool. Uh, and then you have very uh, specific uh, experience, but you can add some links in here from the website. It'd be really, really good. That's cool. Uh, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your, beard, your beard is longer there, I think. Than <laughs> and you got lost in some trees. Were you at Botanic Gardens when you were doing this or something? Like... <laughs> ah, right, okay. So we wouldn't advise you doing that unless you were going to work in the Forestry Commission or you know, some kind of woodland. So like, you do look like you're kind of like you're lost in the jungle somewhere. <laughs> Especially you've got a tie and a suit on and you've got this jungle behind you in Singapore. It's like, it must be very hot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, um, you got this, which is great. And I like you doing this. This is great. Looking to advance his career in Singapore. We don't really say in what. Are you looking to advance it in healthcare? Okay, so you could, you could put that on there. Looking to advance his career in Singapore. Okay. But also, don't say his career. Because presumably, we're talking about you. So don't say in the first person. I'm looking to enhance my career. Otherwise, it sounds really, really odd. If we have a starting conversation, you start saying, he did this and he did that, and he wants to go in the healthcare. And we're like, oh, really? Um, and then, this is good, I like this. Um, so it's the first person here. So it's a bit weirdly, first person here, third person up there. 
So it looks like you're schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> but I like this because this is personal. And you're talking about your, I studied abroad in Shanghai, for example, currently looking to advance my career, very motivated to push myself and so forth. So it's really good because he's actually talking about his career aspirations, what he actually wants to do. You can put some links in here, it'd be really good to put some visuals. So you've had some visuals about, you know, elements about what you've done, for example, and the same up there as well. Even put like, you know, put in the healthcare bio hub, biotech hub here in Singapore, for example, at the top. Just you know, put something up there that says healthcare Singapore as a visual um, to basically just bring it to life a bit more. You know, your visuals are very powerful. Uh, and then experience wise, you don't have NUS on here, I don't think. So you can put NUS on here in the experience section. And then also here, put in what the company does and then also put the links in from the company so it visually looks more effective. Be really good. And then content, you have no content. You should be sharing content as well. So sharing bits of content. Uh, Fiona? Where's Fiona? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Fiona. Yes. I tried to look. What is that? Where are you? <laughs> You're having what? Marshmallow tea or something? Or... It's very dark in that place, isn't it? It's like with the lights off and then you took a picture or something. And, uh, yes. That's sort of like one of those what not to do pictures, isn't it? You can see that already, can't you? Yes. Because even this is like, you know, this is a big screen. On the mobile, you probably look very, very small. You probably can't see what you're doing. Um, so this is cool here, but apart from that, you might want to add in the MBA side of things, add in a summary section, uh, a bit like <coughs> Colin did, for example, and then have a background picture. Um, also on this side of things, this is great. Um, we haven't really kind of talked about what you've done here or there, and add some visuals as well. So again, look at this from a long-term perspective. If you do it now, it'll be good for the next job, and the next job, and the next job. You know, it's all about this is the reason why it's great to get this foundation here now. Andy, are you here? Yes, hi. Um, you look the same, actually. You're doing this here as well, so. <laughs> and you have a jacket on here. He was like, uh, so I like, uh, like that. You're getting a background picture. I do like this, so this is cool. MBA student, NUS, engineer at Micron Technology, uh, industry automation. Um, and then you've got description here, which is really, really good. Um, you can add some visuals. You do have some posts. The last post was a month ago, uh, <coughs> which is cool. And then you have some activity as well. So you're actually doing some kind of content, which is really, really good. Uh, then you've described what you've been doing here at Micron, for example. You can add some links in this thing. You do have some links in there, which is really good. You can put some, also put some links in for NUS to describe what the course is about. Put some links in for the website, for example. I can't even pronounce her name. I, is it I Anne Lee? Okay. Uh, she's not here anyway, so. Uh, James, is James here? James at the back. I like the way you've used a shadow. <laughs> You're going for the whole artistic, kind of arty kind of thing there. So, so mysterious, but kind of intimidating at the same time. <laughs> anyway, at the back there, you know, very casual. So obviously MBA candidate, but you don't have a summary section, no background picture, James, and, and no description about what you've done. And it looks like you've made up these two companies. Did you make up these two companies? Or do they actually exist? Or? They both exist, okay. Do they have company pages on LinkedIn? Okay. Yeah. This one doesn't. Ah, right. Uh, you can either create to the previous one, or you can actually ask them to uh, add a logo to this one, or you can create a company page with this on. It's probably best to add it to the last one and just show your rise and just explain. What you can do is explain here that it's part of the same company. So the better way of doing that, and then basically put some links into the website as well, and you can put some links into the different divisions you are working on. That might be the best way of doing it. And you don't have any content, so you do some content. And don't do this, because you can't click on this. So put that as in the media, so you can't click on it. Uh, Kamini. Oh, sorry, in front of me here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so good picture, uh, but no background picture, no summary section, so you do a summary section with some media, and then also some more keywords here about you know, what do you want to do, where are you looking to go, where, what kind of job you want to get into, um, and then you've got no activity. This is your activity. Kamini's been very quiet lately. 
Uh, but you have liked something five days ago, so you're doing something, you just need to do a bit more. Uh, and then you were McKinsey, so you can uh, put some links in and say what you did. What's the difference between a CRM analyst and a senior analyst? What did you do? Because great work for McKinsey, but you need to basically say what you did at McKinsey, and then put links in for McKinsey, so basically you're telling a story. In the summary section as well, say what you learned at McKinsey, what you learned at Toastmasters, what you learned here, and then what you want to do next, and then tell a story. Key. Yes. You're very serious. <laughs> smile, you smile, you see, that's so much better when you smile. Because <laughs> um, you look like you're what you wanted. You look like Singapore's most wanted, though. <laughs> Are you on the FBI list or something like that? <laughs> So I like this, MBA candidates, um, senior executive manager. Um, I don't really know why you've got Inc. senior executive manager there. You were a senior manager at Dentsu? Oh, okay, okay. So I wouldn't put it there. I'd put what you did at Dentsu and what you want to do next. Because being put it on the top is a kind of slightly strange place to put it, because you've already got it down below. So I'd put it there. And then even here, for example, talk about you know, what you want to do next. Do you want to stay in marketing? Do you want to do something else? And then put some vi visuals there as well. And also, because you're in, obviously in Dentsu, you can actually have a nice visual background as well. <coughs> um, and then, presumably, this is Dentsu? Japan, okay. So you can put some basically some visuals here, and then talk about what you've actually done at Dentsu. And then have some links in for what you did at Dentsu, for example. So, you know, talk about your, it's 11 years, a long time. So talk about, you know, what you've done, some campaigns you worked on, for example, share some stuff about it. Because you've got lots of visuals, presumably. I mean, what's the best campaign you ever worked on at Dentsu? What's the best campaign you ever worked on at Dentsu? Any marketing, what's the best marketing campaign or advertising campaign you worked on at Dentsu? My client did so many, I had so many experience. Okay. Maybe he and his advertisement. Okay, cool. So you can put that kind of thing on there. So if you, if you basically put the, you know, the videos or the posters or the creative on here, it basically tells the story in a thousand words by being a visual. And visually, it's much more impactful, especially because you're in advertising. It's much easier for you to do it than it is someone, say, who's an accountant or in a law firm, for example, or someone wants to do in VC. So you have the creativity, you have the creative elements there to put it on here, for example, and put it in your summary section and the background picture as well. So just use your own inventory and tell your story about what you've done during the 12 years there. <coughs> Marcus. Hi, oh, Marcus. You got a jacket there, you got a jacket there as well. <laughs> so um, I liked the, the, the uh, picture, but you got no background picture, obviously. You'd have that picture there. And you've got a candidate here, we don't talk about what you want to do next. You've also got what I wouldn't do in terms of this <laughs> experience in pharmaceutical service, management, marketing, project management. It's like it's not about, just about you, it could be anybody. So you need to tell your story. I want to hear about you. What's your career about? Um, this is what you're doing, what you were doing. Um, so tell people about what you've done there, for example. Tell people what Allergan do. Maybe some links to the website, for example. And then tell people what you do at NUS. Uh, same with the summary section too. And then also, you've got no content marketing, so you need to share some content too. Uh, Matthew, where's Matthew? Hi, Matthew. Uh, so Matthew also got lost in the trees. <laughs> you were at the same time, wandering about in some trees. <laughs> uh, the light wasn't good that day. <laughs> the, the, the forest was still there though, you know. <laughs> Who would have advised you to have a photograph taken with a forest in the background? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I can tell, yes. The suits and forests go so well together. <laughs> Especially in Singapore, you often say, let's put the suits on and go to the Botanic Gardens. <laughs> Happens all the time. Uh, so yes, I changed the, uh, the background picture. And then I like this, chart professional and human resource. Presumably that's where you want your career to go, your HR. Uh, sure. <laughs> you say, sure. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> it's not a kind of like, you know, it's a question for you. <laughs> if you insist, Chris, maybe, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, you could put a summary section here to talk about what you actually do, what you want to do as well. Um, you know, again, this is a long-term um, viewpoint, you've got to put your summary section here so it's not just about the next job, but the next job, and the next job, it's good foundation. You can always tweak it, but it's good to get it up there, that's what this is all about. Uh, obviously, uh, you've got President of MBA Language and Culture Club. You were, you were part of Culture Club. Did you know Boy George? 
<laughs> Only one person got that joke. Thank you. Thanks for that. <laughs> We're obviously a different she's generation. Yeah, she was our age, I think. Um, so that's brilliant. But put it as a separate. What is, what is it about? What is you know? What's the next hit coming from? You know, did you, you know, what is Boy George doing nowadays? You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, put that down there. Put some uh, links to the website, for example. Uh, and then even here, talk about what Zineworks does, for example. And then do some content as well. So, Mignon. She ran. And she's hiding. Okay. Uh, it's a murmur. It's a murmur. <laughs> so, you, do, you look very uncomfortable on that picture. I don't want to be here. Uh, at least I haven't got a forest behind me, but I don't want to be here. <laughs> Like, you really don't want to be there. Your, your whole expression says, I'd rather be anywhere else than being taken this photograph here. Even that forest that the other guys had to do, it's like, I don't know. So obviously you need to be, you know, express uh, what other things you do. And you live in India? So you travel today to India, from India? No? <laughs> you might want to change that. Do you want a job in Singapore or in India? Do you want a job in Singapore? best to take that out. You might know that if someone applies from India to Singapore, they don't tend to get very good jobs. Uh, so you might put Singapore here and then put it down here as well. Talk about your journey from India to Singapore, what you've done, um, and then put a background picture. Uh, again, very, you've been very quiet. No content going on. But you liked something like two days ago. And again, even here, for example, you know, put in the company page, put in some website, put in some links, put in some content. Naman. You were on the same trip, weren't you? <laughs> but you were, you were imprisoned. <laughs> Why were you in a cage? Did they put you in a cage in that forest? Is that what they did to you? They dragged you along, put you in a cage, took a picture. So we're going to use this on your LinkedIn, whether you like it or not. I, was, I haven't got a page. Yours in a cage? It's like, why have you got a cage? Why were you, why, what's, that, what's that about? That's what, yeah, that's what they've told you, isn't it? That's what they told you to say. He wasn't really in a cage at all. Uh, so obviously you need to talk about what your journey is, who you are. You know, you can't just say, say you're an MBA student, you actually put other things on there as well. Uh, this is great. Maybe you need to put some links in as well. So put some content in and also put a summary. Uh, and you've got no content either. No pets. You're there. Fantastic. Uh, at least you don't have forest behind you. So that's a good <laughs> uh, in a, uh, Background picture. And then even here, for example, um, you've got all your kind of like your, your core competencies there, but you want to put a bit more of the soft skills, the EQ, for example, tell your story a bit more, put some content down as well. And then even here, I'm dying to know what Magic Code do. Um, so tell people what Magic Code do. If they have a company page, great. If they don't, create one or basically just had some visuals from, say, the, the website, for example. Uh, and you have no content marketing either. Uh, is she here? No. Nope. Yes? Yeah, you know, not it. <laughs> not here, okay. Uh, Ran, she here? <clears throat> nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have the bars, but not the forest. What was going on here then? You were in a different prison. <laughs> yes, I think you, you're very mysterious, kind of like. I'm sure I've seen that on Netflix. Were you on Netflix? <laughs> You were starring in some Bollywood movie, weren't you, on Netflix? I've never seen that. You're very mysterious. You could be like a detective on Netflix, definitely. So ideally you have a background picture. Um, and then I like the way this, it's good. Yeah, it's first person, put some visuals in there, got some visuals. Um, and then you share content, fantastic, well done. <coughs> um, so you've liked some stuff and you've shared some stuff, which is really good. Uh, talking about yeah, Indian payment systems, really good, because you've introduced some content, which is fantastic. Uh, and then you put your experience down there. I do put some links in as well, which would be really good. Uh, Andrew. Yes. Hi. Uh, so yes, you went black and white. You went the whole kind of black and white area. Uh, so there's a different views whether the black and white works or not. It's quite distinctive. I like the way you use the Singapore background. But as we've discussed, there's a million other people who use the same thing. So you might want to kind of add some personal touches to it as well. Uh, but at least you have a background picture. It's fantastic. This is your resume. Why do you put your resume on LinkedIn? <laughs> but it's better to put <coughs> LinkedIn becomes your resume. So put it there. 
uh, and then put in about you know what your story is here because what people tend to do they don't tend to download the zoom aid from linkedin they tend to look at linkedin um, by itself uh, you posted or well, the last post was 10 months ago so you need to be doing more regularly than every 10 months or so so put that on there <laughs> and then even here for example you got you could have links to adidas and talk about what you're studying here for example have links from the us website as well be really good uh sergi Hi, brilliant. What's this? What's the background picture? Is it the runway to take off your career? Is that the idea? <laughs> the way the audience booed you and then cheered you. It's like, <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> that is it. <laughs> Brilliant, I think you can tell someone that when you go to a career interview. Yes, there's no number one because I'm number one. It's like, <laughs> if you ever watch The Apprentice in the UK, there's about 16 people just like you on The Apprentice in the UK also do the same kind of story. That'd be brilliant. <clears throat> so, if it's good, I like the way you've done this. Although you could actually talk about uh, in the first person a bit more and have some visuals as well. I do like the way you have visual, which is brilliant. At least it's a talking point, which is really, really good. And then here, have some links to the website, for example, <clears throat> and put the NUS stuff down as well. Uh, and have some content marketing. You have no content marketing, so share some contents. Uh, Shika, yes, <laughs> you're there. The trees are back. The trees are back. Only some of you got trees and bars. It's really interesting. Like who has the trees and bars? And, it, and yours is on a slant. Why is yours on a slant as well? It's like is it a bridge? You were you were escaping from the trees and the bars and on your journey. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, you have no description, and you have no background pictures. So put those on. Uh, and then you have no content. Put some content on there. You shared something like a day ago, but have your own content as well. Be really, really good. And then also put your own experience on there, links and so forth as well. Uh, you have, no, there's no trees there. It's just a, okay. Is she here? No, she's still there. Oh yes, you are there, okay. <coughs> um, so background picture, I like this. So at least you're saying product solutions in the blockchain, IoT, so you're using keywords, but you have no summary section with some media. Um, you have shared something about six days ago, which is great. Um, so you talk about this, which is fantastic. And then you work for SAP to so talk about you know, what you did. In your summary section, talk about what you learned at SAP, for example, and have some links to the SAP website as well, because they've got some really, really good visuals on SAP. Uh, yes, hi. <coughs> so, um, no forest, which is great. <laughs> and then, um, aspiring engineer with entrepreneurial mindset, really good. You can put that here. So you can actually say, you know, you, were, you know, what kind of role you're looking for on your headline, for example, to position you in that particular way. And then have a background picture. Uh, you have posted, well, 10 hours ago, brilliant. Um, so keep on posting, look at engaging, look at content, for example. <coughs> <coughs> and then you can actually link to the NUS website, uh, the company page here. And then have some links there <coughs> to the website as well to give you visuals. Be really, really good. Uh, Stainsler, yes, nice picture. Very cool picture. Uh, but again, it's like it's still a picture of Singapore. So it's great to have it, but there are a million other people that have the same thing. So it's like, it's, you know, at least it's got a, a visual up there. You can also have you got energy inter, uh, industry professional. So you're looking to stay in that industry? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you might want to put that there, for example, seeking opportunities or seeking new opportunities in that industry and have a summary section because currently there's no summary section. There. <coughs> and I like the way you do this. So Students Council President, for example, Achiever Award which is great. We also put those in the award section as well. Okay, brilliant. And then you can have links, for example, to the NUS website. And the same here, here, Dietzman, for example, put it there, put some links to the website so you have more visuals going on. Thorik, you have no content either. Thorik, Thorik. yes, Thorik. <coughs> so, background picture. Um, I like the way you do this. Uh, put some more content there, more media content, visual content, for example. Uh, this is really good. You've got different uh, elements there, what you've done, but again, put some kind of links in to the website to more visuals. You know, people like vi visuals on LinkedIn. <clears throat> and you want some content as well. I'm not showing any content. Uh, Barrett, yes, hi. Uh, so again, you have a picture of Singapore. Um, so nice picture, but again, use that. Yeah, you've seen how many people have already got pictures of Singapore. <laughs> Try and have something more personal to you. Um, you have no summary section and video and media for example put that on there 
Um, and again, here, for example, if they have a company page attached to that, if they don't, either create one or basically put your own visuals on there, for example, from the media. And you've got no content either, so you need content. Benati, she here. Hi. Uh, so I like the way you've done this, because you're describing yourself, with some visuals in the background, and media as well. And then post-wise, um, you, you posted a good thought a month ago and haven't followed it up. <laughs> you need good thought every day. That'd be really good to share that. And then here, for example, you can put in links to the website, put some videos in, put some visuals in. You can see it's quite dry. There's lots of words and there's no visuals, for example. You know, the company page also have no visuals apart from the UI. Uh, yes, hi. Uh, you have the steps. So you're on a staircase of success. That was kind of the meaning you're going for there. So you're following the guy in the background there. So. <laughs> um, again, this part here, put it in the first person, not the third person, talk about yourself. And then put some videos, some visuals here, for example. Um, this is good. But again, put some visuals in and describe what you've done at KPMG, because just saying you're senior associates, and uh, you've got a fast promotion, which is fantastic, but talk about your story. Talk about your experience, for example. Yes, hi. Brilliant. Um, so again, similar thing. So this is great if you're targeting a, uh, a, 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 like the country. You, is that Chinese or Japanese? Chinese, okay. So. Um, if you're targeting a Chinese employer, that's fine. If you're targeting an English-speaking employer, or like an American company or so forth, that wouldn't do very well. So you need to basically look at, you can have it in both, which is fine. Uh, you can actually have it in dual language, right? You have LinkedIn as many languages as you want. You can just change the base of the profile so when someone is English, looks at it, it's English. Whether there's in Chinese, it's in Chinese, or Japanese, it's in Japanese, or Korean, or whatever. Uh, so you might want to change that. Uh, and then here, you worked for Nuclear Island. So you might want to put in there exactly what you did there for 11 years, for example, um, and then talk about your leadership, the, um, you know, what took you the journey from there to here, and then have some visuals, if they have any visuals for the website, it might be top secret, might not have any visuals at all. <laughs> <coughs> but put that on there as well, put some links in there, so you can see it's quite sparse. So you want to tell your story, I mean, you went 11 years a long time, to so tell people what you did for 11 years, so people can actually then see that positively. Um, yes. Uh, so you got your 2018 Asia MBA Kanto, it's great. And then put down here, for example, what you want to do. What do you want to do next? Put some visuals again, media. And then you've got your company down here, but again, put some visuals. Uh, and you have no content, so you need to put some content down as well. Uh, yes, hi. <clears throat> so, China Everbright Limited Analyst. Um, so you want to put down here what you're doing, kind of what the journey took you for the here, and you know, going forward, for example, have a background picture too. What you want to do next? Be really, really good. Uh, and then you have posted a week ago, which is great. So you want to keep on posting, which is really, really good. And then down here, put some links to the website, for example. So visualizing it, it's great. You've got company pages set up. No one's volunteering, so she's not here. Okay. She here? Sorry. <laughs> So again, similar kind of thing. You have a different kind of plan to the background of your picture, don't you? Um, so you want to have a background picture, and then you want to have um, experience here. You've got f and manager, for example, like f p and a manager, six years work experience. Talk about what you learned. Talk about your story. Talk about leadership. Talk about what you can add to somebody, for example. Again, look at it from a career point of view. Talk about what you can offer. You know, and you've done the whole thing with the XP and G. <laughs> I won't use your profile, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, but talk about why PNG meant a lot to you. Talk about why that was successful, why it was good training, and go forth from there. So you got PG, so six years, brilliant. But talk about that on the summary section, talk about what you've learned from it, and then awesome visuals as well. So you have some visuals from the oral care side of things, for the, you know, the brand. So you know you won six Power of You awards, for example, Leave the Courage. Talk about that in terms of your summary section, what that meant to you, what it meant to other people. And then if you can, get recommendations from those people as well. That's fantastic. Have you included those in your award section? You should include those in your award section as well, because that's fantastic. It's really, really good. Six years running is fantastic. So put that in the award section too. Uh, I need some content. So share some content you know, about PMG, about what you're doing now, about Singapore, for example. So, oh, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, so stay hungry, stay foolish. Obviously, you copied that from Steve Jobs, didn't you? <laughs> if you're going to steal someone's quote, you actually have to put in where the quote came from. 
Otherwise, you're pretending that you're Steve Jobs, basically, aren't you? <laughs> you can put a, like, a picture of Steve Jobs up here just to make sure people knew. Uh, you could actually um, say why that's important to you. I like the way you've, you've taken a quote like that, but why is it important to you kind of thing, you know? Put it out there in terms of why that's your philosophy in terms of your career. Uh, and then, obviously, you're you part of EY, so you put, you put some links in here from EY and uh, BNP, for example. Uh, and then some content as well, so put some content marketing in there too. Uh, everybody else, my team couldn't find you, so you're very lucky. <laughs> they would have scoured. If anybody else does want a critique of their profile, uh, send me a link and myself or the, my team will actually come back to you with a critique. But the basic, you can see what many people are not doing. Background picture, headline, summary, first person, and it's an investment, don't forget, in your future. Not just a short-term fix. What you'll realize is LinkedIn is not short-term. You might want to basically change jobs now, but then you want to change jobs in two years' time, three years' time, four years' time, change country. Yes, question? Yeah. <laughs> good question, very good question. Because you're basically going to have your LinkedIn profile as many languages as you want. LinkedIn now do, I think, 65 different languages. So if you really want to, you can have your profile in 65 languages. You have to do it yourself and then add the language. So when someone comes in who's from that particular country, say some, some China, for example, they see it in Mandarin. And what you can also do, what we sometimes do for our clients, is write their summary section first in English, then in Mandarin. So you can do that. So I provided the languages, right? It, Correct. It, it's, it's not automatic. They haven't gone down the Google Translate things for obvious reasons, because Google Translate can't directly translate with the right kind of um, accent. You know, it could be in Hokkien, for example. So basically, you have to put it in yourself. So as long as you put it in yourself, it'll come up um, in the right kind of format, in the right kind of way, because basically you're writing it in Mandarin or, or Korean or Japanese or German or Swiss or whatever it happens to be. So you're actually writing it. So, and then when someone comes from that country who wants it in that country, it looks like that. And then post-wise, you can do that in post. You can actually post in different languages as well. But same thing. Basically, if you're not, if you post in French, then people who don't speak French will basically get annoyed because they won't be able to read it. So there's no, I can look at it and they translate to English. That doesn't happen on LinkedIn. So you've got to basically try and do it in English because it's mostly an English speaking uh, business platform. Unless you just want to basically um, <coughs> attract attention from say that particular country, in which case do that. But yeah, so you can do it in 65 different languages. If you really want to go to that extent, you can actually change it into different languages. <laughs>